Let's start off in D.C., where a study from the website WordFinder X showed that D.C. ranks number four in the country when it comes to cheating at the popular word game Wordle. Really, D.C.? Really? I'm disappointed. How did we morph from the District of Columbia to the District of Cheaters? The study also revealed the word tacit is the one that most people cheated to find. Pretty ironic, since tacit is actually defined as understood or implied without being stated. I don't think anything about that day's puzzle was understood or implied, at least not here in the district. You better hope they don't start asking about wordle honesty on those security clearance background checks. Imagine failing a polygraph for that reason. Nothing brought down Trump. You got burnt by wordle. Honesty is the best policy. I hope that that's tacit enough for you. To the Republic of North Florida now, Stafford County, Virginia. Oh, for our next story, where a plumbing company van somehow ended up stuck on top of a wire supporting a telephone pole. Let me start off by assuring you, no one was seriously hurt. Not even the telephone pole, amazingly. With that out of the way, I need to know how this happened. Was it that windy? Was it a dare between two co-workers on their last day? Was it the van's attempt to fly to save on gas? So many questions that we got to get answered. Now, the good news is, is that some of the best advertising here was plumbing police that they could have ever asked for. If it were safe, they could have just left the van there as a billboard. The more memorable way than, of course, if you can't, we can, Michael and Sons, right? Score. I wonder what plumbing police is using for their jingle. We'll fix your plumbing anytime, even on top of a telephone line. All right, that was cheese, but I hope this works out for plumbing police. It's going to have to, since that van is probably going to be in the shop for a while. Now, I chose this next story because it affects everyone in this area and across the country. The White House has sent a delegation to Venezuela. They went there over the weekend to talk about energy sanctions and jailed American citizens. This is despite years of tension between the two countries. Sky-high gas prices making for strange bedfellows, right? When you ban Russian energy imports, you do what you have to do. Sky-high gas prices, all the motivation we really need to mend fences here. This is kind of like a couple whose relationship went sour getting back together because both parties struggled on their own. Let's try again. We can work things out. Sure, the UN says you've committed crimes against humanity, but baby, we're past that. I know things fell apart the first, second, third, fourth, and twelfth times, but this time's different. Now we're parading Venezuela around hoping to make Russia jealous. That's right, Vladimir. We're back with Nicolas Maduro, a real international strongman with a cooler accent. Why don't we hope the lesser of two dictators works out for us? And finally, I chose this last story because it's cringe. An increasing number of people are foregoing spray tans and tanning beds. Instead, they're opting for sprays that go directly into the nose to give an almost immediate darker tan. Pause for outrage. Wow. What could possibly go wrong with this? Now, creators say it works so quickly because, you see, there's no layer of skin inside of your nose, and that means the chemicals that increase the amount of melanin in the skin get absorbed right into the bloodstream. Basically, it's like mainlining a suntan. Is that really necessary? More importantly, what if things go wrong? If your kids catch you snorting suntan juice, will they stage an intervention? I mean, what's going to happen if you accidentally use too much? Are you going to get yourself canceled? Suntan nasal sprays are currently not FDA approved. You're taking your health into your own hands trying to achieve that Hulk Hogan shade of orange. So listen, please be safe. I don't want to end up reporting on a whole generation of soccer moms who now look like they've been slow roasting on a rotisserie grill thanks to these nasal sprays.